In this video, we'll be talking about Fabry's disease, which is a lysosomal storage disorder. So obviously, in any lysosomal storage disorder, there is a dysregulation of lysosomal function. Many of these cases, what happens is there are several enzymes which are important for lysosomal functions are abrogated. In this example, alpha galactosidase A or alpha gal A, this particular enzyme is non-functional. And non-functionality of these enzymes is due to a mutation in the gene that encodes this particular enzyme. So this particular enzyme breaks down a particular lipid known as globotriacyl ceramide. So when this particular enzyme is not active or alpha gal A is uh, in an inactive state due to the or not produced due to the mutation in that gene, it lead to an accumulation of this globotriacyl ceramide. This lipid accumulation in different regions of the body cause different problems in the Fabry's disease. So the classic Fabry's disease starts from early childhood, whereas the non-classical one has a delayed onset. In this case, there are burning, tingling and prickling sensation in the lower extremities of the limb, for example in hands or example in the legs. And this kind of sensations are triggered by exercise. There are also neuropathic pain, which is sometimes quite unbearable. There are specific type of rashes which develops in the lower abdomen and the bathing trunk area. This is known as angiokeratoma. There could be intestinal complications, GI cramp, uh, frequent bowel movement, which might lead to also constipation or even sometimes diarrhea. So overall, there is a gastrointestinal complication, which is very common to the classic Fabry disease. Cardiovascular problems include hypertrophic cardiomyopathy, cardiac arrhythmias, increased risk of stroke. Also, there are eye problems such as cornea verticillata, then corneal opacities or even conjunctival vessel abnormalities. Renal problems are also common in this disease. Sometimes there are kidney issues and there are complete kidney failures which requires transplantation or hemodialysis. So this is a quick summary about all the complications which are associated with Fabry's disease. Now, fab, when, when, when genetics is concerned, Fabry's disease is an X-linked genetic disorder. That means in the next generation, the male children has the highest probability to get infected or carry the disease. Females are generally max to max carriers. It's very unlikely that a female would be affected by Fabry's disease. But anyway, when uh, the carrier female has at least one chromosome, which is okay. So they have a less severe mellowed down symptoms. Then diagnosis of Fabry's disease include detection of the enzyme activity from the patient's serum. Genetic testing is the best option to deal with this disease. Then to deal with problems of Fabry's disease, supportive med uh, uh, treatments like hemodialysis is important, but enzyme therapy, especially synthetic version of alpha gal A and chaperone therapy is FDA approved. Also pain associated with this disease can be managed with painkillers, pacemakers can deal with cardiac arrhythmia and obviously hemodialysis is important to deal with the kidney problems. So I hope this video was informative. If you like this video, give it a quick thumbs up. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. See you in next video. Help our channel to grow and support us via super thanks. See you in next video.